Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rahim Mehta bringing you another video today on selective color. Now the reason I wanted to do a tutorial on this is because I think selective coloring is super important when it comes to fixing colors, especially in skin tones. And the thing about skin tones is, right, it's a mixture of colors. You have your yellows and reds and sometimes you'll have your magentas and even orange. And the reason why that happens is there's this thing called subsurface light scattering. And what that means is that if you look at my face right now, you can see the inner lobe of my ear is a bit red and that's because light is being absorbed by my skin and being radiated back so there's some sort of discoloration and it happens around your nose edges and certain parts of your face so that definitely affects the color toning of your face the other thing affect is any dramatic lighting from the ceiling from a particular direction so you use selective color to fix all of that and get a beautiful image so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump right into it so you might be wondering why we're not using the classic hue saturation tool or what's the difference between that and the selective color tool and let me demonstrate this with an example if i go to my magenta's tab and i try to change the color you can see that this weird banding that's happening and this goes back to my earlier statement that your skin tones or all colors in your day-to-day -day life are kind of transitional colors you have shadows you have pattern or texture inconsistencies and that's why all of this differs let me just dive into this a bit more so you have a clearer understanding let's try to do the same thing over here with a solid color and if I'm going to move the slider it works perfectly well because there are no transitional colors or inconsistencies however if I try this with again a transitional color you can see that there's this weird banding that's forming and this is the same banding or same color change that we had in her skin tones and that's because all these colors are moving at different rates and they have different luminosity values and it just doesn't work with hue saturation so the right way would be to go to your selective color tool i'm going to click magentas and what I'm going to do is, so you have your CMYK values. Just to give you a reference, I'm going to show you the opposite colors. If you go to your color balance, these are your opposite colors. So your cyan and red are opposites, magentas and greens, yellows and blues. This is just for your reference. We are not going to use the color balance tool. So if I go to my magentas and what I want to do is I want to expand this color. I want to change these transitional colors. So your pinkish red tones, your cyan and purple tones into magentas again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to firstly add magentas. There's a slight change. You probably can't see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the blues. And I'm going to remove the yellows that are there in the red as well. And now I'm going to come to the reds and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to remove the blues. I'm going to add more magentas and remove the yellow. And as you can see, I've moved that entire color section bleeding into red and blue. And that's how selective color works. So let's get back to our original image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a selection I'm gonna do a very rough selection just for illustration purposes that works I guess I'm gonna to go to color selective color I'm gonna click absolute instead of relative now the difference between the two is a bit more mathematical absolute is a bit more harsher on the math compared to relative uh, relative as the name suggests works in a more relative manner if I had different color schemes on her skin tones probably this would be the right way to go about it but for now i'll go to absolute first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my magenta values and i'm going to change this i'm going to add more greens to obviously remove the magentas that looks good i'm going to add a bit of warmth to her skin tone and just a bit of lightness that's fine now I'm going to go to my red tab, I'm going to add, this looks good, I'm going to remove slightly more magenta, that looks good, and add a bit more yellow as well. I'm just going to go and lighten her skin tone a bit, and that's just because the original magenta has a low luminosity value, so I'm just going to bring this a bit down. 
and that looks good you can already tell that there's a huge difference in how it looked before and how it looks now now I can see some small inconsistencies I can see there's some sort of discoloration over here this is just your personal preference how you want to go about this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new selective color layer I'm gonna go to color range and I'm gonna click this part of her skin tone that looks good I'm gonna remove the blue tinge that is there it's probably very slight you can probably see it but I'm just gonna change those values now as you can see there's a slight reddish tone over here that I want to fix a bit again this is me being just like very particular so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna click selective color go to my color range I want to pick these super harsh spots perfect reduce some pinks and add a bit of light over there that looks good this is before this is after the last thing what I want to do is I want to add a bit more contrast and the same reason I'm doing this is what I mentioned earlier that magentas usually have a low luminosity value especially when they are this strong and because of that you can see the shadows look a bit more faded and the picture just looks a bit dead so this obviously differs from picture to picture but I'm just gonna go to my curves create a clipping mask and just add some shadows and that's about it that was a quick and short tutorial on selective coloring if you liked my video please let me know in the comment section below subscribe to my channel and i shall see you guys next time take care